Hello, I'm Kevin Berger, author of Atheism is Untenable. There is no shortage of channels of religious individuals engaging in apologetics to defend their positions, and there is no shortage of channels of atheists using counter-apologetics to argue against them. But what about atheists' defense of their own positions? Who is holding them accountable? On this channel, I don't engage in apologetics. Instead, I apply the principles of polemics and skepticism to atheism and the claims made by atheists, of which, despite their existence to the contrary, there are many. This is justified nonetheless. Today I'll be presenting the penultimate argument in my series from epistemology on why the concept of non-belief is incoherent. Now, some people might have been thinking last time that verificationism, that's old hat. Nobody uses verificationism anymore. And that's fine, because today it gets even worse when we look at it from another angle. Take a look at this one. The non-belief is incoherent omnibus. Number 16. The argument from unfalsifiability. Premise 1. Belief claims are private mental events, making them inherently unfalsifiable through empirical methods. As beliefs are private mental events, they are not subject to direct empirical observation, testing, and verification. Instead, all we have are fallible self-reports of individual subjective experience, which are prone to error due to faulty reasoning such as biases and presumed objectivity and rationality. Further, a suspension of judgment does not equate to a suspension of belief. Secondly, a suspension of judgment as an admission that one does not know the truth value of P substantiates only agnosticism, an epistemological position. It does not address belief, a doxastic position at all, much less substantiate an absence of belief. Thirdly, whereas the suspension of judgment is an act of will, the suspension of belief presumes that one can choose what one does and does not believe, which is an extraordinary claim that requires extraordinary evidence. Premise 2. Scientific claims require falsifiability for empirical substantiation. For a hypothesis to be considered scientific, it must be falsifiable. That is, it must be capable of being tested and potentially refuted by evidence. Therefore, claims of complete absence of belief are unscientific. All right, and that again was the penultimate argument in my series on epistemological arguments for why the concept of non-belief is logically incoherent. I have one more to go, so stay tuned for that one coming soon.